Hello and welcome back to This or That with Kobe and Jack presented by Verizon. Guess what? We're after game two really oh, early on. Week. So I don't know what they're going to use to come up with these slides. How they, many slides do we even have, Kobe? They better be good or we start flaming producers. I see six at least in the prompter. <laughs> What's slide number one? Let's get started. Who felt better? Hmm. To see to on a pocket pick. Harry on Ari or Belulu on Velcons? Hmm. I think this one for sure. Yeah, because Velkaz is cool. Because Velkaz is not picked by anyone else ever. Like, did you see what Harry did to Vickla on this pick? It's Ari. He Ari just got like, buffed. He was up like 40 CS also, on Ari Vickla's just got buffed. He's following the... <laughs> and Belulu lost. <laughs> yeah, be not because of his fault. It's because of the rest of the team. They're trolling him. Yeah, we've been arguing a lot, so I just wanted to argue <laughs> with you. I agree it's that. So let's get to <laughs> number two. Because <laughs> Velkaz is cool. Velkaz. Which upset gave you more hope? 100 Thieves or Team Liquid Honda? This is based off of ah, Thursday's well, game. We just got some more data on Team Liquid, and I have to say but that the game that upset gave me more confidence. Transport your mind back to when they beat FlyQuest. Yeah. Hmm. I could see it then. I was like, you know what? I think Team Liquid are just going to lose right after <laughs> this. So I'm going to go with 100 Thieves for sure. And 100 Thieves plays Dignitas on Friday today. So yeah. it does so I'm give I'm pretty sure hope. they're going to win that one. Also, I, I said it at the start of the year, this 100 Thieves reminds me of 2020 Summer TSM, where they were atrociously bad and then won the split. So more hope on this. Plus, seriously, we have seen the peaks of this, uh, you know, or at least a lot better looks from this 100 Thieves team. So right, let's slide number three. the next one. We're, we're very agreeable today. <laughs> Who has the best hair in the LCS? Solo, Berserker, or Licorice? Tenacity. But we have to do one of the three that's on this. Because it would have just been over if you put your I was I was literally about to choose solo, and then I turned over, and I just see Licorice staring right at me with these shiny golden locks. Yeah, like, I this? Gotta, I have to go with Licorice, even though the mullet is a big pull. This looks accidental to me, <laughs> but Berserker's bun is actually, he pulls it off better than anyone I've seen with the bun. So I'm actually- I, I think maybe it's because of my vicinity. I'm just too close, but these shiny golden locks are beautiful. I, I got, think Berserker's you, the dark horse in there. I'm going with Berserker. All right, I'm, I'm sticking with- Power ranking, tenacity, Berserker. <laughs> Where does banter <laughs> hold more weight? It's from Accept My Heels. YouTube slide, by the way, if you leave oh, a comment, you can be up Twitter here as Twitter well. banter or all chat banter? So this is interesting because the best all chat banner banter becomes Twitter banter. Because Travis Gafford is gonna sleuth it and just post it. Actually, the best all chat banter gets you banned. <laughs> <laughs> and does not go on to social media or Twitter. Does that so... make it more weightful? You're not getting banned on Twitter banter. <laughs> I, I think the banter on Twitter holds more weight because there are more people holding you accountable. Everybody sees that. The all chat banter. Yeah. Sometimes that doesn't get released. I will say both can get you fired. So I'm gonna go with this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this for now. Thank you for the question. Yeah, I, heels. I'm gonna go with the Twitter. <laughs> Next slide on this or that. Should teams just ban Palafox's Aurelian Soul? Yeah, it's broken. No, it's not that bad. They had Dignitas beat them and they had it, so they, they only have two wins. Not a big deal. I said, go ban it. Yeah, it's entertaining. <laughs> they don't win with it. It's really interesting, though, because it looked so broken. It also tilts everyone to no end. It looks so broken, but he's one and two on the pick. Yeah. Other regions aren't playing it. I definitely think he could execute better with it, and other regions are just assuming that they can get punished really, so really So you're early, saying, nah, it's not more. that bad. Yeah, I would you're say leave it up. based analyst right Because now. I, no, I want to get more data. I'm a scientist. Oh, leave it up so we can I collect see. more data. I'm ready to say for Palafox, <laughs> this, yes, it is broken in his hands. I don't care if they've lost two games with it mm. and won one. It just, I, the eye test, man. It's this. Okay, we disagree. Okay, next, next one, we got to keep, <laughs> keep that one going. What esports trope is more powerful? The blue shell effect or first place after an upset? So this is referring, I guess, to first place yeah. after they get upset, and yeah. they're really pissed. How powerful. And then they said. win after that. That one I don't I don't buy into. Also, I don't like that it needs explaining. Blue shell, you say that, you know what you mean. Boom, blue shell. But is it more powerful? <laughs> like, you're gonna win wi first place after an upset is gonna win way more games. Are they? Yes! Really? No, it's that. Okay, fine. I think that's a better trope. Okay, though. so are, more so powerful they, versus wait, better. Wait, wait. So you're telling me Immortals is gonna win more likely than FlyQuest next game. 
Uh, no, but like, for this next it's game, a cool, it's the last it's place. It's a way better the and cooler trope. This is very <laughs> semantic, but I'm right. So that's a wrap for this or that. Yeah. Please send us your suggestions in the YouTube comments, and we will see you. But that's not even a thing. Time. First place after they lose, like that slide. It needs a catchy.